Hello, I'm going to show how to remove the pressed on power steering pump pulleys. It's the only way to replace the power steering pumps is you have to remove the power steering pulley. And I use this tool. After lubing this back side in the front, I have this tool. Put the 5 8 shaft through this. You have your coupler, remover tool. There's a small end and a bigger end. You put the small end over the pump. So, put this over. So, and you put your locking clip on, or the coupler, I think it is. to back it out. I always preload it by hand. And it's a um, 13 16 to hold that part and then I use a 5 8 for this put your ratchet on tighten and you're gonna hold this one and you're just gonna go like this and it's gonna be a little tight until it pops all right there it goes I don't know if you heard the pop and just keep on working it like this and at this point if you choose you can use a impact half inch drive 3 8 whatever or the battery powered DeWalt Milwaukee Makita whatever um, and since you're doing this yourself I recommend not putting back the old pulley I will replace the pulley when I install it use the same tool to install and I'll try to do a video on that um, but just showing this can be done with hand tools it's not just a quick on and off procedure and if you're doing this as a business like most of my stuff is I will include in the price um, the pulley and without the pulley I'm not just going to automatically include it I say, yeah, to replace this is going to be like 700 bucks, you know, and then try to charge it for a pulley, too. These pulleys are 35 to 60 bucks, depending on where you get them and how fast you need them. And always make sure you have lubrication on this driving shaft. Mine was already pretty, I mean, you can see all the, there's anti-seize on there. I use oil, anti-seize, wheel bearing grease. All depends on what I have near. I know, boring video. Boring. Shouldn't you be done already? I want to see results. <laughs> That's it. Set these down here. Try not to bust your radiator. And that's it. That's the power steering pump pulley. This one's actually a little rusty. It's not warped. And you slide your coupler off. I don't know if the video will show it. This is 
holder, one piece, one piece, that's that. And the reinstall is a little different. There's, there's a part that screws in here, which I have. That's it. There's the pulley. Now, I can access these three bolts. Um, this is, I think, for uh, alternator bracket, or no, it's just for the holder. But yep, just these three bolts. This pump, believe it or not, ha the body has a hole in the back, so it was leaking out. And I've actually had these shafts shear off inside here. So that as long as your serpentine belt is on, this pulley would still spin, but not produce power steering. And since these are hydro assist, you won't have brakes. And most likely you're not gonna be able to apply enough pressure on the brake pedal to get this thing out of gear to begin with. And I've had that happen on a Another vehicle with the same GM. So that's how you remove the power steering pump on a GM Chevrolet or any press fit like that. That'll fit that space. That'll fit this. Like I said, it's two different sizes. That's smaller size, which mine fit because I actually tried it. The other way, I had this bigger end on that side and it just fell raw off. I was like, oh, yeah, duh. This is the tool. I've had this for a long time. I think since 98, 1997. I've used it extensively. Um, that's it. And this is the install procedure. This. This is the install part. That's the way it's got a nice bearing. It, it spins. It won't ruin your new pulley. But I'm going to put a new pulley on anyways. Alright, well, that's for, uh, this is a GM 2003 Chevy Express. Thank you for watching.